Where is even review button? <laughs> yeah, so this is basically how GitHub so does jail. it. So Governance is crucial in any significant software project, but it becomes even more critical in open source software projects. Without responsible maintainers, and proper governance, no open source project can thrive. The days of relying solely on benevolent dictatorships are behind us. The field of IT is not just another industry, it's a realm where we value experimentation, ownership and scientific progress, all of which are enabled also by open source and can be hindered by corporate silos. So let's talk about recent instances such as transformation of Terraform and Redis into business open source project, basically siloed project. And both of these instances highlight vulnerability and power of open source. Right next day after HashiCorp and Redis Labs announced change of the license, we got forks baked by multiple stakeholders. At the core of modern developer tooling lies JIT and Forge. In an era marked by AI advancements and AI breaches, maintaining ownership of your code has never been more critical. When we assess the self-hosted options available the forges today, we find relatively few choices. The situation has significantly improved compared to decades ago. However, today you cannot find a forge that allows you to have enforced merge request approvals without paying, which is most basic requirement for a forge and often makes self-hosting forge a viable option. Today. I want to delve into an intriguing project. Orgi Hyo. Orgi Hyo or Orgi Jo is a fork of Gitea that prioritizes governance above all else. Let's explore their website and take this self hosted version for a spin. So this is for Gio. And this is for how Gio. it's pronounced, I already checked. If we go to fuck FIQ, uh, Gio actually inspired by Forgio Esperanto which is artificial language based on like English or Spanish. Um, and they even have for this Geo. file here. For Geo. So it name it for Geo. Yes. So for Geo is a self-hosted lightweight software forge. Easy install and maintain and it does the job. And what is very interesting, it's brought you by inclusive community under umbrella of Codeberg E dot v dot, which is, I think, is Ferrine, right? So Kodeberg is registered non-profit associated based in Berlin, Germany. So basically for Gejo is Berlin based project by uh, Kodeberg Ferrine. And uh, uh, Ferrines, they are non-profit. It's democratic non-profit organization for Gejo can be trusted to be exclusively a free software. It focuses on security, scaling, federation and privacy. And oh, learn Gio. more how about uh, how it compares with other force. Let's take a look. Uh, there are many alternatives and they have this uh, really interesting uh, table here. Uh, so because our channel is mostly about open source and self-hosting, uh, very interesting to see this comparison here. And uh, of course, in comparison with GitLab, GitHub, they all have hosted version and uh, public instance. And um, Forgejo is 100% free software, yes. And as we can see, the only option we also can be said that it's free software is SourceFat. GitLab has open source version, but it's basically open core which means you will never have the same amount of features that you have in paid version. And they will, they will actively try to remove these features from the open source version, even if you will try to add them by yourself, which is often happens in open core project. Which is interesting here is to see Gitea and Forgejo is basically one of the forks of Gitea uh, and was created because of how Gitea was maintained, was governed. Uh, 
And let's go to governance and transparency part. They define that Forgejo con considers transparency and democratic governance key. The user's freedom is their core value and they establish radical transparent workflows. Wow, this is something interesting. We could delve into that later. Democratic decision making. This is a key selling point or Forgejo. They say the GitLab has no democratic decision making. Of course, because GitLab is basically a for-profit company. It's not just for-profit company. They are public company and they're solely driven by profit at this point. Gitea is very interesting. Gitea is not no, but limited here, which is very interesting. Um, radical transparency, I guess it's something that uh, they invented. Um, I really like to see what, what does it even mean. Um, and they control it by non-profit. So I already tried for git jo, um, but let's take a look at their documentation. So let's go to get for git jo. First, they allow you just to download a binary, which I don't really like. I really like to run uh, as a Docker Compose. And then, uh, which is a very important, like verify GPG signature. And container image, just run container image, but you will not get anything from that because uh, it's basically just container image. You don't expose port, you don't expose volumes. What will be more interesting is to see their uh, admin guide and see how do they uh, expect you to install it. With Docker, so they proposed this structure of Docker Compose. Uh, there is nothing bad with it. Um, and I did run like this and it works perfect. So let's take a look, right? Uh, so the volumes, the data will be residing in this Forgejo folder. And when you start it, the port will be 3000 and uh, SSH will be on port 222. So let's take a look at uh, Forgejo. I already installed it. Uh, and on the first installation that allows you just uh, uh, select from the database you want to use and admin user so it's quite uh, easy to install nothing to complain here and when you install it you just have this uh, very simple view there is nothing uh, we even have some very bare bones project management as I see and some exploration as we have on github on gitlab so first let's try to create some uh new repository right so we can just create new repository uh they also support signatures which is very awesome but i want to do i want to create repository from repositories that i already have on github so i have this repository on github lrt uh i i use this in one of my previous videos uh 10x faster cold start if you're interested in uh, how to speed up your lambdas, take a look at this. Um, but right now what's interesting for me is to try this migration. And we can specify token, but because it's open repository, we don't really need to. I really like these animations. So now we have this really, really simple view. It supports markdown and it's... Uh, I haven't migrated pull request. Um, don't think there were any, but it doesn't migrate pull request. So maybe let's try to create a new merge request and see what will be our experience. You cannot just uh, press dot here, it's not so fancy. Uh, but let's try to change something in readme. There is a problem with a dot. Let's change a dot and let's commit it. I want to create a new branch, fix typo. And I want to create a pull request. So they, as I can I see, they're copying GitHub a lot here fixes documentation <clears throat> and as we can see we can just create merge commit right away why because our main branch is not protected let's take a look if it's possible here where it is uh that it's probably in branches the default branch is master here for some reason and repository yeah so we need to add branch protection add, add branch protection to what is this is master for some reason i don't know why i created it with master it should be main and protected file patterns uh it should so we can even protect some files here from changing we can disable push and whitelist users 
who can do the push require signed commits it's really really nice so let's add allow uh, how many approvals do we need but i wouldn't be able to uh, approve my own <laughs> merge request in this case and yeah and status check has to be passed which means they probably have some kind of ci integration right now let's take a look at our pull request yeah and now i cannot create merge commit because i need an approval uh, let's take a look what will be how it will look like to actually review it or is even review button <laughs> yeah so this is basically how github does it all right so we can just say lgtm but i cannot approve it because i am author of this pull request unfortunately and as i can see it supports package packages interesting which kind of packages it support oh nice it's quite a lot of package managers supported uh even like conda apk it does support rust php c plus plus go java javascript awesome awesome this is really good list does it have support for containers oh, yeah, it, so it has support for containers so basically you can use for Joe as a container image uh registry which is very very good and there is very bonds project support let's see uh create a mean bash project here does it, is it kind of a kanban board yeah so we can just add uh in progress good so can i just add something here new column new issue but i cannot just click new issue here which is not good but it's a really good start i'd say it's really really good start but i'd expect to be able to create issues right here but it's completely unclickable so like just releases should be really easy to have standard wiki and even some activity page which is really really good and as far as i know there should be even ci cd support which is already configured for that you need administration access and and resides in runner first we need to add runner there is no like out of the box runners you have to add your own i already added it my own inside the docker config, which wasn't straightforward procedure um but it's documented but it could be improved so this is the structure that i come up with in documentation it suggests to run runner separately so this is my service here my forgejo service here and here we have runner and here we have docker and docker container to actually run for example docker builds and uh, when you set up docker container it's not you you when you set up runner and docker container it's not straightforward because first you need you need to uh run this docker with some uh sleep command here exec into docker container and only after that you can uh go here create new runner copy this registration token and register your runner here yep it even supports some cache which is good because cache is a king and um, let's see how to use it because apparently it should copy all github actions work actions user guide actions provide continuous driven from the files for gejo workflows which is exactly how github actions work but they're not identical and never will be identical yeah it, it really looks the same as github action probably it will be really easy to adapt github action if you already have it on github and then you have it you have forge with ci cd on it and project management on that with support of uh, main branch control main branch approvals thank you very much please let me know which kind of forge you are using are you using self-hosted forge are you using github gitlab gitaya or something else or you're storing your code on your hard drive do you even trust clouds to store your code and for jail